Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another frugal vlog. Start my day in front of 7 Eleven, doing what you have to do. Bottle of water, six spot. Best way to start your day. Water is a necessity. And six spot, no big deal. It's uh, very inexpensive. And I am tempting fate walking down the street. As you can see, it's a little busy. It's Saturday. And I'm headed down to what you can see in the distance there. It's Seacon Square. This is a gigantic mall that has things I need for my apartment in it. And I am headed over to uh, get said things. But I'm also going to try to uh, cool off. It's around 11 a.m. And it is currently 33 degrees centigrade. And it's hot. Like, it feels hot today. Which is, uh, which is fine. I am not complaining. I came here knowing full well that it can be warm in Bangkok. And skirt through traffic. Whew. Never a dull minute here, I swear. And uh, I was just at a 7-Eleven there. And boom, right across the street. They're absolutely everywhere here. And they're exceptionally popular. Anyway. I'm going to continue on my trek, drink some water, and I'll see you once we get in to the shopping center. I know, I know. You guys are going with another shopping center uh, video. It's different. This one has something that I have not seen at other malls. It has multiple floors, so the higher up, the uh, more expensive things are. But the basement has one of the coolest computer and tech uh, centers. I've ever seen like all kinds of old phones and bits and computers and figure out if I'm here I might as well spend a little bit of money and get something for myself I may or may not but uh, yeah we'll see okay so we're in the Seacon center that's the kind of what I was telling you guys about all kinds of really fun little electronic stores like there are Tons of secondhand phones, repairs, little repair shops, all mom and pop stuff. But there are more iPhones here than I was expecting to see. But yeah, you can get your batteries replaced, computer fixed. I could tell you if I was staying here, this is where I would come to part together and build a computer. I think it would be a lot of fun. I wandered around here the other day and just had an absolute blast. Just checking out all the tech. But yeah, like I said, there's a lot of Apple products here, but I also found a couple of camera stores in here too that actually carried the Insta360 stuff and some DJI stuff. Uh, a couple of things that I was looking for, I couldn't find. There is a, um, there's a lens for this that I wanna get couldn't find. I also am looking for um, just a glass, uh, protective coverings for the uh, the screens. So, I haven't found those yet, but a new camera, so I'm not expecting miracles. But yeah, this is the basement of the mall. And I think there's four or five floors here. I've only played around in the first two three there's a DIY store basically like a Canadian or American dollar store so that's where you got all the winter stuff but look Dairy Queen which is kind of cool so there is of course McDonald's and Dunkin Donuts neither of which I'll be going to but this intrigues me so when I was here yesterday, none of this existed. This was not made. <laughs> they were building this and putting this all together. When I was here last weekend, they had a concert going on down here. <laughs> so, like They just seemed to tear it down and build it up every week, which is kind of crazy. I ended up 
coming up to the very top floor and I should have done this sooner because there is a Cineplex. Can I get that in there? There we go. Cineplex here. I am going to treat myself to a movie today. <laughs> I did not know this was here. And I've been told that I should go see a Thai movie with subtitles, which I have no problem with. So I may just do that. Why would I want to go see a Western film that will end up being on all the streaming platforms and days? <laughs> well, try something different. I have no idea what that is supposed to be. There's something going on down there. We're going to go check it out. I honestly do not know what these are. But they're cool. Gundam. This has to have some meaning that I do not understand. That one I like. Love always wins. Very cool. But this is what caught my eye from above. That's really cool. Don't know what the multicolored eye has a meaning for, but it's neat. As a Canadian, this really cracked me up. So, they have Tim Hortons here. Now, now back home, Tim Hortons is well known for their coffee. We ordered a double-double, it's what we do. Um, but they carry Americano, lattes, and French vanilla. It's all espresso drinks. And 99 baht, I can get Americano for 30 in Vietnamese style. So, yeah. I find it hilarious that this exists. Here's the menu. I don't think they even have crawlers. <laughs> and there's the donuts here as well. Oh, they do have a honey crawler. Uh, Timbits are here. Okay. Maple creams. Interesting. So it kind of cracks me up that this is here. I'm not going to do the... Uh, typical Canadian thing and get a Tim Hortons while I'm in uh, Thailand. It just cracks me up that it exists. So every time I've come to the mall, this place has been just packed. Eat am our good steak. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I don't know. I assume Weird things happen with translations. Um, it's a brand because they have Eat MR, it's like the brand. So, um, but it's always packed. So I got no idea. I'm not here for steaks. I just th thought it was kind of cute and funny that uh, it had such an odd name for a Westerner, but it's packed with locals. So obviously, if the locals are there, it's going to be good. We are headed up to. Mr. DIY. Let's see. Mr. DIY. So this is the Mr. DIY store. This is one of my favorite stores in this area. Because everything is pretty cheap. I got myself a few treats here. It's quite enjoyable. I got one of these for my one of these for my phone at home. Where did I get? I don't remember I got that one or this one. I got blue. It doesn't look like that. Which one did I grab? It wasn't expensive. But yeah. Need a cheap phone case. iPhone 11s. I don't see anything here for 
pixels. But yeah, I mean, if you need cable, like I was worried about bringing cables here and. A little kettle. Glass teapot for myself. Much. Eighty-seven baht. Oh, three bucks. I'm not drinking it. I haven't found tea here, really. Wait, what? USB coffee cup. 145 baht. Oh, I might be coming back for that. <laughs> Such a dork. But this is like I said, it's like they got everything. Like, I'm here on the cheap. I'm not buying anything to keep forever, right? So I just need something, I'll grab it. I'm actually here for these hand towels. 16 baht. There we go. Duster wipes for the apartment. That's entirely reason that I came in here. And maybe a little fan. Nah, I don't need it. Wow. Shit, if I needed the keyboard, I'd get one here. Wireless keyboard and mouse combo. What's this one? Portable speaker. This place is amazing. Well, in what seems to be the norm, I am. I am done. I did my shopping. I got the things that I wanted to do. But uh, it is getting stupid crazy busy in here. And as much as I would love to go and see a movie, I went up and checked, and it's packed. So I'm like, weekday. It's a weekend when I'm doing this. So it's my own fault for, you know, doing the dumb. But uh, I enjoyed myself. I had a good time. It was a fun day hanging out in a mall. Not something I thought I would ever say or do, but I did. I enjoyed it. But I'm going to head off and uh, go find something to eat. As much as there was yummy looking food in here, I'm kind of partial with street food. So I think that's what I will go and look for some street food. And I will see you guys later. Take care, everybody. Bye.